Hello everybody, it's Sena, and today I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a casual vlog style uh, video because I have the day off from my day job, or as my friend affectionately calls it, my muggle job. <laughs> yeah, muggle. <laughs> anyway, so um, it's President's Day, so I'm like, you know what, let's just go ahead and do something like super casual today because I really kind of want to show what I'm working on, because I don't show it on YouTube. I show it a lot on my Instagram, but not so much here. On here I do a lot of like tutorials and art product reviews and things like that. And I've done a couple of time lapses. So yeah, I just really kind of want to show you guys the products that I have that I'm working on. I also have um, a couple of like time lapses that I'm working on as well. And one of the big projects that I'm working on is every year I do a few conventions. So I show at a couple of conventions a year and I actually have a convention coming up very, very soon. Um, exactly like two-ish weeks from today. So it's gonna be February 28th through March 2nd, no, 1st. Yeah, February 28th through March 1st, yes, yeah, because it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> but I will be uh, doing a convention then. It's called GalaxyCon Richmond. I did it last year and I'm doing it again this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then I have another big convention in July, GalaxyCon Raleigh, that I do every year. And um, they tend to suck up a lot of my time because cons take a lot of prep work. Like, they really do, because you have to make product, you have to package product, you have to order product, you have to design product. So there's a lot of, a lot of things that go into it. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd just show you what I'm working on because I don't show it here on YouTube. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna show you some of the painting products projects I have in the works and a couple of those painting projects are actually going to be time lapses on here. So I'm gonna be really excited to show that to you. And then um, some convention prep stuff as well. So yeah, let me show you what I'm working on. So this is my dog Taki. That's who you heard snorting behind me if you heard her snorting. But yeah, this is Taki. She's a Boston Terrier. Hi, baby. Hi. She's very, 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 very needy. Very needy. Right, baby? Right, baby? Oh, yeah, she's okay. But yeah. <laughs> Isn't she just like the cutest thing ever? And I might be a little bit biased because she is my dog. Oh my God, look at that yawn. Okay, wait, I'm supposed to show you art, not my dog, so. All right, Taki. Ah, oh, she doesn't care, she'd rather you see her. All right, let me, all right, let me, let me show you some art. So these are two small five by seven paintings. They're both done in acrylics. Yeah. So these panels are the panels that I prepped in my how to prep panels video. If you haven't seen that yet, you can go see that. <laughs> but yeah, um, so these are just really small paintings. I got the idea to do like these, I originally was gonna do just like these little mushrooms on here, but then I was like, you know what, that's a little bit boring. Let's do something else. So then I got an idea to put like these little dormouse type creatures in them. They're based on dormouses, but they're not actually dormouses. I kind of put a wooden school touch on them. But yeah, so this is something that I'm working on. Let's get rid of that glare. So these are hopefully gonna be done soon. And by the way, they're not one, they're two separate panels. <laughs> They just kind of look like they're one because they're using the same. I'm using the same colors and color palettes and stuff on them. But yeah. And the best part is I'm actually making this guy into a time lapse. So you'll get to see him on the uh, in the time lapse. But yeah. So these are some of them. My little like painting station where I keep stuff. Yes, it's on top of my dog cage. No, don't judge me. Um, yeah, so this is a watercolor painting that I need to do. I haven't quite started on her yet, but I do need to do her. Um, yeah, she's pretty cute. This is a painting of Melisandra from Game of Thrones. Here, let me actually move her. And yeah, so right now she's basically like on a very like dark background and there's like all these like faces and stuff behind her. They're really creepy and I really like them. <laughs> According to my friend, I do whimsical and creepy really well, so. I'll take that as a compliment. But yeah, so this is my Melisandre piece. This is um, acrylic on gesso board. And this one 
is a mermaid I started like a while ago and I just she get she constantly gets put on the back burner all the time but eventually I'll get her done um, and then this one behind here is a painting for a friend but I don't want to spoil it so that's all you're gonna be able to see it's a little bit yeah <laughs> I, I should have finished this a while ago but uh, she's been very patient with me so thank you for that I love you so these are um, hand-painted necklaces and what I do is I gesso the inside so the inside gets gessoed and sealed and then I just paint on top of it with acrylic paints yeah and then I seal them in resin these are something like brand new that I'm working on so I haven't ever sold these at a con before but yeah okay so now I want to show you some watercolor paintings that I'm working on this is more like fan art so I am working on an Okami watercolor piece yeah I love the game I have always loved it. I thought it was a very beautiful game, so this is something I wanted to add to my roster this year. So yeah, but I got some red paint where it's not supposed to go, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, she's nowhere near done, but uh, she's looking promising, so I'm very happy about that. And then I have another painting, and yes, I'm using arches. I actually am working on a video with this, just this paper in general it might be an art showdown we shall see mm. but yeah so um i'm using this is my first time using arches and then oh it's upside down it's isengard you ever watched lord of the rings yeah it's isengard um wanted to bring some lord of the rings merch this year so this is only like one of like four planned paintings for uh lord of the rings but yeah i'm uh, having fun with it so far. I was hoping to be done with it by now, but you know, life happens. So, gotta say, I kind of really love the cracks in the ground. Yeah, and if you're wondering what all that this is, this is like wood pulp because you know they cut down the trees to make the orcs. So, yeah, so they cut down all it's like it's supposed to be like the corruption of like Isengard type deal, but it's gonna look really super cool when I'm done. So, very 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 thrilled with this one okay so now i want to show you some color studies that i've been working on hello taki yes yes my baby can you say hello to the people hello oh don't lick my face she loves to lick my face mm, so cute. okay <laughs> okay yeah all right so i want to show you some color studies that i've been doing um so a lot of times I'll do color studies if I'm not 100% sure what I want the color scheme to be. Like sometimes I can go into a painting and be like, I know exactly what I want this to be. Not always. <laughs> so in order to like alleviate that, I kind of do um, color studies. So I want to show you the original drawing first. So this is the original sketch it's of a girl with really long hair and a butterfly. But yeah, so here are the color studies for that. So these are her color studies. Basically what I do is I scan it into my computer and then I print it off on cardstock and I use markers to kind of get a sense of like the color scheme. It doesn't necessarily have to be like really in-depth uh, colors, but like, or like really like fancy shading and things like that. It's just basically me trying to get a grasp of like the overall color scheme and concept four kind of cool uh, color schemes. I'm not sure which one I want to do. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know. Um, a lot of people, I've asked a lot of people and a lot of people seem to like this one. I like that one too, but then I also like this one. Leaning a little bit more towards the pink hair just because I haven't, I've done pink hair before, but I've never done like a pastel pink hair. So I think that could be fun. I have done pastel purple. I did that on um, a unicorn that I painted last year. Okay, so here's the other one. I like a lot of like, ethere I like painting like ethereal maidens or like elegance maidens, ethereal elegance, whimsical. I, my, my key word is whimsical. That's what I try to do with like everything is kind of make it a little bit whimsical. Some of these are really bad, so don't judge me. <laughs> this is why we do color studies because 
so we can figure out before we go and like waste something like paint because you know especially the paint that I use is pretty expensive so I don't want to waste my paint you know which I've done before um, but yeah so color study is really important in figuring out exactly what you want to do so that way um, you're not wasting products or materials like all right as you can see, I kind of abandoned these two because I was like, that, no, that's that's not working. So maybe eventually I'll go back and visit something in these color schemes, but it didn't like fit her. Like, and the funny thing is, is like when I was drawing her, I kind of imagined her to be kind of like a dark gothic type person, like a dark lady. But you know what? The lighter colors actually work a lot better with her. This goes to show you that sometimes that things that you see in your head doesn't necessarily like match the piece in actuality, so yeah. So these two are the ones that I kind of like really like. So yeah, very different vibes. Yeah. A lot of people have been liking this one, and I've I've painted blue hair in watercolor, but never in um, acrylics. So that would be a lot of fun. She's so cute. Oh, so cute. Oh, you got a little scratch on the back here. Here, let's cover you up. There you go. I want to show you um, one more one more project that I'm working on that hopefully I can finish. I plan on finishing it this year. She will be done this year. When I don't know, I have a planned set date for her right now, but we'll see if she actually gets done. We'll see, but I think I can get her done. So. So she was started three years ago, and she's actually um, an oil painting. So I have some water, sorry. So I have some water soluble um, oil paints that I was using to paint her, and it's just I've never gotten around to like finishing her up. So that's something I'm planning on doing this year as well. Okay. So I have one more thing to show you. This is one last painting. Um, that I actually have like a concept sketch for. This is Haku from Spirited Away and I really wanted to do a Spirited Away piece this year. I've done a ton of like Totoro <laughs> pieces because I love Totoro, but I wanted to do like a Spirited Away piece this year. So there's that and this is uh, on computer paper because I did little tiny thumbnails. So these, I don't know how well you can see them, but yeah, so these are like little thumbnails where I just planned out the composition and I planned out kind of like the movement in the piece. And then the ones that have the X's are the ones that I was kind of like meh about that I wasn't like too inspired by in terms of like the positioning and stuff. So a couple of them, this one and this one, I really liked like the composition on it. So what I did is I scanned them in I put them in Photoshop, I put them to the size that I needed. So the piece is gonna be on a nine by 12 sheet of watercolor paper. So I just resized these up to that and then I printed them out. And then I just kind of drew on top of the um, line. So it's just a line to, it started like here and went all the way up just to give me like an idea of like the curvature and stuff. But I really like this one. This one's actually paid, uh, based on a um, Japanese, a famous Japanese artist, like one of the paintings that he did. So he's gonna pay homage to that. Yeah, so. so yeah, so those are the pieces that I'm currently working on. I have more planned. This is just like for the first half of the year. I have more stuff planned for the later half of the year. I'm hoping to bring you guys more time lapses and I have a couple of videos in the works right now. So I have um, some art showdowns, I have some tutorial based, um, like some tutorials in the works. I also have some uh, like general art things that I'm working on as well, like general art theories, like color theory, fundamentals of arts, that kind of thing. So definitely keep a lookout for those. Um, I'm hoping, my goal is to post at least once a month on YouTube. And if you guys like these types of vloggy videos, maybe I'll post them more often. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you wanna, you know, see more vlogs in the future, just, you know, let me know. Uh, yeah. 
So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! What a weirdo.